Welcome to BrewTuber. I'm Dan. And I'm Julia. And today we're in Evanston, Illinois, checking out Double Clutch Brewing Company. Time to go vroom, vroom. <laughs> Time to get clutch. If you're enjoying what you're seeing right now, make sure to like and subscribe here on BrewTuber. Double Clutch has a big parking lot. So for those of you who might be a little anxious about parking at a brewery, don't worry. They got you covered here. Parking is super easy, provided they have a space. It does get crowded. It can get crowded. Mm -hmm. Because it's awesome. Because it, it's awesome. Double Clutch has five spaces. So they've got the showroom right here where they have all the vintage cars, which they rotate in and out frequently. It's very, very cool, especially if you're a car enthusiast. Definitely want to check this out. In the same room, they also have a little mezzanine area where you can overlook the showroom. They've got a main bar area over here where they have a stage, so they have live concerts here. They also have TVs, taps, full bar, everything. On the other side of that, they have another main floor room where they have just the bar. They have a bunch of seating options for you. It's fantastic and a whole bunch of televisions. You can catch the game, right? A lot of times they're playing like college sports. They're playing all this nets and the other things. It's fantastic. And they have a nice little patio space too. When the weather is actually tolerable here in the Midwest, go out and catch some patio season. It's fantastic. So what makes Double Clutch awesome is they've got a whole kitchen attached, so they serve everything from lunch. They have a dinner menu. On the weekends, they have a brunch menu, and they have some awesome appetizers. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to eat the pretzels today. We're going to try these out. So like little caterpillars of sexy right there. What comes on the side is a jalapeno beer cheese that is made with their Kolsch beer. Awesome. And a spicy mustard to accompany your pretzels. All right, let's dig in. Let's try it. Look at Crossed. that. That is so You can tell these are actually oh. made fresh. That beer cheese is like, it has a little kick to it, but it's nothing that's crazy. I will say the spicy mustard, not a whole ton of spice. I think there's actually there's probably more spice in the cheese than there is a mustard, so if that's more your thing. What I will say about it is it's very tangy and it has a nice little smokiness to it. It's a great mustard flavor. Great appetite. So if you're not a beer drinker, Double Clutch has you covered as well. They've got a cocktail menu. They've got a full bar with all different kinds of spirits. They also serve wines by the bottle. So just keep that in mind. If you want to purchase the full bottle, you have that option. And if you're not drinking at all, they also have non-alcoholic options. So if you just want to eat the food or just hang out, come. I mean, the environment of this place is so cool. If you want that, they got you covered. You are trying to read your flights. You take a look at your ticket, right? The way that this is listed out is the same way that you read it left to right, OK? So this one's going to be your first beer right up top here. Right, This is the little juice coupe. And then go on left to right. That's your flight for you. This is the Fest beer. This one's an Oktoberfest style beer. Oh my gosh. That is sweet. Right away you get like a lot of those like amazing bready notes. It's smooth. It's not like too bitter or anything like right off the bat. This is a fantastic Oktoberfest fall beer. This is what you want. This one's called Pilsner. This is a 4.9 ABV. Really, really refreshing. This one features noble hops from both Germany and Czech Republic. So you get a little bit of like the best of both worlds with the German style, the Czech style of a Pilsner. Really nice, light breadiness. Tiny bit of bitterness, but it's so subtle. Mm -hmm. What I love about this one is this is a great refreshing beer for any time of the year. Very good. This is the Hefeweizen. This one is a 5.6% ABV. I love Hefeweizen. <laughs> like just 
any kind of pop of ice and sign me up. This has a ideal balance of banana, clove, and they describe it as having a tangy finish, and I love that. Like, because it has like a little bit of tang in there, it's surprising, easily drinkable again, but not so sweet that it's unbearable. Half of it's kind of hazy too. It if is. You notice like, for, uh, it has for half like of? a really like hazy boy. Yeah, you can't see through that one. This one's called Marzen. It's Oktoberfest. This is phenomenal. This is one of the best Oktoberfests I think I've ever had. Mm. There's a lovely, light little caramely sweetness to it, but it's really refreshing. It's tamer compared to the mm. other style of Oktoberfest beer that we had from them. I think this one leans in a little bit more of a refreshing direction. And the other one, this is personally what I would gravitate towards. It's very balanced, it's very smooth, right? Nice, light maltiness on there. You really can't go wrong. The bitterness is dialed way back though. There's no bitter in that whatsoever. It's, really it's phenomenal. This is the Hellas Lager. This one took silver at the Great American Beer Fest. Clean, crisp, little bit of, ooh. There is a lot of like amazing, sweet, wow. Okay, there's like little bitterness like right at the beginning and then like once you drink it back, it has like a little bit of this like bready sweetness that then sort of like finishes it out. I gotta try not this. Not expecting that. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. And that is so clean mm -hmm. and drinkable. Yeah. Isn't that good? I feel like a lot of times with the Hellas you don't expect it to have a yeah. really complex flavor. And this one I think just like evolves. That is on a your palate. It evolves. This one's called Schwarz Beer. This is a 4.7 ABV. Almost has this kind of like Coca Cola, but like chocolatey undertone to it. Nice, smoky, a little bit of sweetness with it, but very light, very like crushable, drinkable. Perfect for this time of year, right? The weather's oh, yeah. starting to change here in the Midwest. So we got that fall weather coming in. It's like a solid 50 degrees outside. That's my favorite kind of weather. This is my favorite kind of beer to drink in that time frame. So, hey, get the Schwarz, Schwarz beer. beer. It's phenomenal. This is the Kolsch. This one's got a 4.7% ABV. It definitely is described as having that fruity character and you get that right away. And I also love that they compare it to having like a Riesling wine um, in Germany, which I'm a big fan of Riesling wine. So this is, I love how light it is. It's super drinkable, it's clean, um, but I love like that fruity note that it has to it too. So, and look at that color, that is just top notch. This one's called Little Juice Scoop, you don't know what I got. It's an IPA. I'm wanna... supposed to sing the <laughs> song. <laughs> this one's a hazy. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Nope, nope. Oh, yeah. You can have some. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this one's got Azaka, Mosaic, and Citra hops. Awesome flavor. Nice citrusy, almost like a nice so kind of good. pillowy sweetness. Very nice. Very easy to drink, right? Beautiful hazy color on this one. You know us. We love our hazies. This is one of the best in town. This is phenomenal. And it's so easily drinkable, and it has like a little bit of that tropical vibe going on with it too. It's not too much, but I just fought Van for this one, and he won today. Thanks for watching, BrewTubers. Make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to smash that little notification bell for all updates here on BrewTuber. As a disclaimer, you gotta be 21 or older to drink alcohol in Illinois. As always, be responsible, tip your tenders, Drink locally. And cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Double Clutch Thanks, Brewing. Thanks, Double Clutch. We love you.